In today's video, weaponized street vehicles face off against an army of the dead as we play a high octane, splatter filled game of Gasland Zombie Bash. Well, hey everybody, this is Lee from SkirmishWarGames.com. Welcome to the channel. And today, just in time for Halloween, we're going to play a game of Gasland Zombie Bash. This is the Gasland's uh, tabletop war game from Osprey War Games. It's a game of post-apocalyptic vehicular combat, uh, played using Matchbox and Hot Wheels scale cars. But you can play it with a lot of other scales too and a lot of other genres. So today, one of the scenarios they have in the rulebook is Zombie Bash. And so instead of it being a death race or a straight race, uh, we're going to be racing around the track. We can shoot at each other, but we're also going to be trying to hit as many zombies as possible and rack up the score. So a couple of interesting things about this particular map. One is, each car is going to be starting uh, from a different gate simultaneously. Guns are going to be hot from the very beginning. There's two teams. Lynn has her team that she uh, custom made a couple of weeks ago, and then I have my team, and we'll talk about the cars here in a second. Um, there's also going to be things like exploding barrels. So if someone hits one of these barrels, um, on a one to three, it's just an empty barrel. It's just a one point hazard. On a four through six, it's an exploding barrel and makes a pretty big boom. And then um, this little trailer here, that is a movable obstacle. So if someone wants to go through here and get these juicy zombies, uh, they can crash through that and knock it out of the way. There will be a, a, a collision hazard. All right, well, Lynn, do you want to talk about your cars? You got two cars that you made. One is the Rocket Bug and the other one is the Blue Streak, correct? Correct. Okay, what does Rocket Bug have? Rocket Bug has the rocket turret. And then the other car? Has a front heavy machine gun and facing the back has a minigun. Okay, so that is the Blue Streak. Yes. And my two cars, uh, we're going to call the gold one, uh, it smells like victory because as a front facing flamethrower, an extra crew member and Molotov cocktails. And then the performance car, the little uh, dune buggy-esque performance car has a, a minigun front. It's got a mine dropper and uh, the driver has a box of grenades. All right. Well, you ready to rev up the engines and bash some zombies? Yep. So we can roll for pole position. You're purple. Okay. All okay. Right. Okay, first things first, you uh, pick a car to activate and then choose a template and we go from there. All right, so first on your activation list is... The bug. The rocket bug. The rocket bug. Let's see. And you can't pre-measure when you pick your template. You just have to kind of eyeball it. You can pre-measure when you're shooting, but when you're moving, you have to sort of eyeball whether that template's going to work or not. I think I'm going to go with the turn. Okay, just a regular old turn. Regular old turn, and with since I'm in gear one, I'm gonna get one free shift, so I'll put that there. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Yeah, this is gonna be bad, unless... You need to look for a spin. I need to look for a spin, since I have... Was gear. Rocket Buggy nipping into the uh, moonshine before you got onto the racetrack today? It appears so. There's a slide. Which isn't much better. I no, I'm... probably not. This track is pretty narrow, so that a slide will take you right into the wall, unless you want to push it and roll again. Not really, um, but I will shift into second gear. Why not? We'll go into the wall even faster. All right. We in the wall? Uh, or not quite yet? Not quite yet. Okay, so for my activation, I'm going to activate the performance car, and we're going to play it safe and go with a medium straight. So I get a shift because I'm in gear one, and the performance car has handling of four, so he can roll four dice. Might as well live dangerously. One hazard, three shifts, so we'll four cancel shifts. out of four you shifts. Get, you got four shifts. So I think just for the heck of it, we'll uh, shift up twice. From first gear, go into third gear, take two hazards, and ignore the last shift. Okay. Yeah, give me a, a movement marker. Show the mood. Okay, your next activation, I take it, is the blue streak. Yep, I'm going to go with the gentle, which gives me one free shift at gear one. A gentle turn. Yeah, see if I can run into a wall again with this one. That one looks a lot better. And he has a performance of three, so 
So I'll we'll do three. Slide, spin, and shift. And you got a free shift. Yeah, I needed time. a spin, yeah. We'll get rid of the slide. And we'll use the spin and shift up to two. Which means two hazards. All right, you're going to keep your spin and you're going to shift up to gear two. Yep. Since I don't have to spin much, I can spin just a little bit. So. Line yourself up with some juicy undead. Yeah. Sounds like a good plan. Okay, what will we do with It Smells Like Victory? I think we're going to go with a gentle turn. Okay, that is the gentle turn. That doesn't look too bad. Yeah, some of these maneuver templates only work in certain gears, so we have to remember to look and make sure. Because if you use a template, pick a template you can't use, then your opponent gets to pick a template for you. All right, so I get a free, a free shift because of the template. Because I'm in gear one, it says you get a free shift to gear one. And then I got handling of three, shift a hazard. And a spin. And a spin. So? so we'll get rid of these, so the shift cancels out the hazard, and I will gear up, take a hazard, so I'll go to uh, gear two, and then um, I might use my spin. So we're going to go here, and we can spin up to 90 degrees. All right, tokens away. All right, so that was first turn, first gear phase, then we go to the second gear phase. Gear two. Okay, everybody's in at least gear two, so that's yes, good. everyone's in at least gear two. Okay, what's up for the rocket buggy? Uh, we're gonna try a gentle turn. It's gonna run us into the wall, though. So, where the wall hits, which is pretty much there. Okay, you're gonna scrape the wall. I'm gonna scrape the wall. Yeah, you should have rolled your shift dice before you pooped. Yes, I should have. Spin, spin. That won't do me any good, it's still. Okay. And I just still have to decide what to cancel. Yeah. Well, I'm going to cancel all the spins and all the all shifts. Right. All right, so unfortunately you collided with the wall. You're going to scrape the wall. The wall gets two plus two. Yeah, the wall is considered a heavyweight obstacle. You're a medium weight. You're in second gear, so yeah. that's two dice. Two more for the wall being heavyweight. Yeah. So it's going to roll four attack dice. It's got to get a four to six to do any damage. A six is it's a critical, so that's two. So that's two points. You can roll two dice, and if you get a six, you cancel it, and no. you don't. So you take two points of damage. And um, two hazards for the collision. Scrape. You scrape some paint. Looks like I scraped a lot more than paint. Okay, so for my gear two, I'm going to activate the performance car. I'm going to go with medium forward. He's in third gear. He's got two hazards. He gets a free shift. He gets a free shift. That was nice. Shift, 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 and a hazard. So we're going to cancel these out. That shift will cancel that hazards. That hazard, I'm going to uh, use two shifts to cancel two of my hazards I have on my car already. And then, all right, I'm going to go to gear four. Live dangerously. How is that dangerous? Well, the faster you're going, um, the more limited your maneuver options are. And the more damage you do if you collide into something. That's true. So he revs the engine, throws down that zombie. Okay. okay, so what's the blue streak gonna do? I think we might veer, just for fun. Okay. Just so I can miss the zombie. Alright, what gear are you in? Two. Okay, so you get a free shift? Yep. Shift, shift, and a slide. It's a spin. Oh, a, no, a spin and a slide. This track is a little too narrow for sliding, for the yeah, most part. Yeah, but I will do a spin. And we'll get rid of the slide, because those are too dangerous. So I will take my hazard and do the spin. And I will gear up. Take another hazard. To what gear? To gear three? To gear three. So this is the blue streak. He's in gear three, and he has four hazards. <laughs> okay. And six hazards you wipe out. Oh, you're going to do the spin, okay. Oh, yeah. Spin on your axis. Clobber the zombie with your exhaust pipes. Yeah. Clever. 
Got to get some zombie blood somehow. Okay, everybody's moved in gear two except for it smells like victory. So the uh, flamethrower car is uh, currently in gear two. It has two hazards, and we're going to go ahead and do a, um, a medium forward. Probably should have done a veer or a swerve or something to try to clip that zombie. So I get one free shift because I'm uh, in second gear doing the medium forward. A slide, a shift, and a shift. I'm going to use one shift to um, gear up to gear three. Puts me at three hazards. I don't want to do the slide, so we'll get rid of that. And then I'll use a shift to get rid of one hazard. And I think I just skimmed that zombie without killing it. I might have run over its toes, but... You can smell it, but you can't taste it. Yeah. So now on to... Uh... Gear three. Gear three. Turn one, gear three. Okay, so the bug is only in gear two, so right. he can't go. But, but everybody else is in at least gear three. So you get to activate, um, and the only one who can activate is, is Blue Streak. Blue Streak. I think we might try the veer, see what happens. Could be bad. Maybe something good. Maybe something bad. Yeah, it looks all right. Yep. Lines you up. Okay, I don't get any bonuses. No bonus shifts. Oh. No, because it's in gear, in gear three. three. We need some shifts, like lots of shifts. Shift, hazard, spin. Now you can push it, take a hazard and re-roll those, or re-roll two of them. So how many hazards you at now? I have five hazards now. Okay. Yes. All right. Good three job. shifts. Okay. So I'm going to get rid of two hazards. And I'm going to take one back. And go up to gear four. Okay. Okay, so you're at gear four and four hazards for Blue Streak. Okay, the next car I'm going to activate is It Smells Like Victory. They're warming up the napalm. This car is uh, in gear three. It has two hazards. And I'd like to clip some zombies. So, let's see. We'll see if a veer is enough to do it. Yeah, get one of them anyway, and line up the other one, and avoid the exploding barrel. Okay, my veer in um, gear three gives me nothing. Slide, shift, shift. I don't want to slide, so we'll get rid of that. And I will um, use one shift to get rid of one hazard. So now I'm in third gear with one hazard. And we're gonna bash that zombie. I'm gonna bash that. bash that zombie. Nice. Okay, the performance car. We're gonna have to navigate this turn. So we will do a gentle, a gentle turn. He's in gear four, so no benefits, but no hazards either. So the performance car is in gear four. He has one hazard. His uh, handling is four, so roll four of these dice. See what happens. A slide, a shift, a shift, a shift. So we're going to cancel out that slide because we don't want to do that. Use one shift to cancel out my one hazard. And then I guess just throw the other one away because I think I'm going about as fast as I want to go right now. So I'm in gear four. No hazards. Getting pretty damn close to the rocket bug. That's everybody, right? Okay, yep. Okay, clear the tokens. Clear the tokens. Can That guy can't go this time. Because he's only in gear three. Yeah, yep. we're in gear four. So only the gear fours can go. So that's the performance car and... The blue streak. Blue streak. Okay, so what's Blue Streak going to do? I think he's going to swerve. He can go around the zombies, which is unfortunate, but it's okay. better than crashing into the wall. So in gear four, a swerve gives you a hazard. hazard. Yes, I see that. So what's he at? He is he's so at five hazards. Five hazards, gear four, one more hazard, and he gets to do a... Flip. A uh, wipeout test. Three shifts. All right, that's helpful. I think I'm going to get rid of three hazards. Okay, so currently the score is three zombies to one. 
because I keep going around them zombies. Okay, the performance car is also in gear four, so try the old gentle turn. Looks like he's gonna crash the wall. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, Ouch. three hazards in a spin. I'm gonna take one hazard and re-roll that. You're gonna keep your spin? Or are you gonna re-roll that? I'd re-roll that one too. Yeah. Shift, slide, slide. Hazard. Hazard. Oh no. All right, well, um, yeah, he's just gonna smash into the wall. So I can get, that won't even really matter. I can get rid of that. And that's still two hazards and he's gonna slide into the wall. Okay, well, that happens. So slide would uh, bring him out here. So he's gonna go whoop. And a little black guy. Bash into the wall. The wall is heavy and you're medium. Yeah, so, and he's moving fast. So remember we talked about the uh, oh, six. downsides of moving fast. He is in gear four. So that's four. Plus two plus is Plus two is six. six. So six dice for smacking the wall. Go ahead. So four, five, or six. So, so four. four damage. He's going to try to evade. He needs a six. And he doesn't. So he takes four hits and two hazards. His little performance car only has eight hits to begin with. So he is down to four hull points and um, he's at three hazards. And I think that is as much as we can do in this one because no one has a gear yeah. five. So I pass the pole position to you. Okay. And take off any red tokens. And who are you going to activate first? Well, okay, since we're here, we'll go ahead and activate the performance car. So now when you strike an obstacle and when you start up, the obstacle is counted as though it's not, not there, there just to kind of speed the game along. So that's helpful. Okay. And you get a hazard for that one. Oh, I guess I should have In looked. gear four. Okay. But Lovely. at Lovely. least you, at least you get to not be facing the wall. Take a hazard. I think you might get your zombie out of the deal though, unless you get a slide. Shift, 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 spin. Nice. Um, That's pretty yeah, nice. Get rid of those. We will uh, get rid of two hazards. So that puts us at gear four, down to two hazards, and then. Bump our zombie. Okay, so rocket bug. So the rocket bug is gonna do veer and try to get around that pink thing, which it looks like he does. And since he's in gear two, he does get a free shift. And he does have three hazards already, so we're hoping for some extra shifts to get rid of those. Uh, I think we're gonna take a hazard and respin. Re roll and hope we don't get anything horrid. Now well, that's better. So the shift cancels out the hazard and we'll use these two to cancel out two other hazards because four is a little too many for my blood. And then he bumps the zombie. Is he touching the wall? No. No? Close. Okay. But... Good. One zombie for the bug. Okay. And you can shoot. I'm gonna shoot. I'm gonna shoot you with my little turret. For the rocket turret, I get six D6s. All right, so fire one of your three rockets. And a five hits, right? Yeah, one hit out of all of that. I'll take one hit. Yeah, one hit's so performance than car is in gear four still. So he's going to try to evade. He needs a six. He got he it. He got it. So he evaded a rocket. Whoosh. Okay. Okay, so that's rocket bug. Okay. 
I guess it's gonna be smells like victory. I guess we'll try to veer. So the flamethrower car is in gear three. It has one hazard. It has uh, handling of three. Shift, shift, slide. I don't want to slide. <laughs> slide would be funny. I'll, uh, yeah, I'll take I that shift. Slide. Use it to get rid of my one hazard. hazard. And then just claim my zombie. Bonk. Okay, the blue streak. Blue streak is at gear four. I would love to be able to use a medium and get a free uh, shift, but that won't work because we're in a corner. So I think we're going to do the gentle curve. Which will get us there. Okay, he has a handling of three. Shift, shift, spin. I think I'm going to take the spin. So I'm going to use these to get rid of two hazards. And the spin will give me one back. So he has one hazard now. And we can spin up to 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. Line them up. Knock them down. All right. Okay, so we're about to go into gear two, but uh, the last time we forgot to switch from gear four to gear one, just the dice. So that's where it should have been. So we're in the second turn, right? First yep. gear, now we're in second gear. And it gets us time to activate. Okay, so I'm gonna activate the uh, flamethrower car is in gear three. It smells like victory. It smells like victory. He, he has killed three zombies. The performance car has killed two, and then your cars have killed one each. So that's where we stand right now. I could try to go this way, but I think I'm going to try to whip around this way. So, I mean, gear three, I don't have any hazards. So I'm going to try this hard turn, which is going to give me a hazard in gear three. So it does clip one zombie on the way around, and I think I'll be okay. Yep, looks good. Okay, so I'm taking one hazard. And I have a shift, a slide, and a slide. Ooh, I don't really Ouch. want to slide. I guess it could slide. Maybe. Maybe I'd survive. I don't know. Mm, so I'm going to take a hazard. I'll just reroll these two. Oh, yeah, because that's a shift. I thought that was a... So a nice. shift and a shift and a shift. Okay, so I got three shifts. I'm going to stay in gear three. I'm going to clear my two hazards and take my hard turn. And get that zombie. Okay, so for your first activation, this gear, what are you going to move? I'm going to move the bug. Hairpin turn. So I can run into the wall. Yeah, that would be good. I could do a hard turn maybe too. But I'm thinking the gentle turn. Um, since I'm in gear two, I get to have one shift to start out with as a bonus. This may not be exactly the greatest thing I chose, but we'll see. Well, I think you're going to visit the RV. I could get, I could. Oh, but you could, you could slide out of that. I could get a slide. You could slide out of that. Which would be amazing. I did get shift, a slide. Shift, slide. Oh no, I didn't want to slide. I wanted the other thing. You wanted to spin. Well, spin. you can take a hazard and reroll. Well, no, this, actually that. It might. Should that turn me the other direction? No, it would just, it would just move you this way. Which wouldn't be bad. If I crash into a wall, it won't be the first time. Right. You'll squish a zombie on the way over, probably. I think I'll be okay. I think I'll use the slide. And I will get rid of my two hazards. Okay. You're going to shift up or down? I think no? I will shift to gear three and take a hazard. All right. Okay, when you slide, you take a hazard. So let's see where the slide takes us. 
One of the few places on the track that it works. Yeah, where it's wide enough. Mm -hmm. All right, that worked out. And I think, just for giggles, since you didn't activate your guy before I did, I'm going to shoot him. Which guy? That oh, one. the performance car, okay. Yeah, I'm going to shoot your little All right, performance so car. that's six dice, attack. Yep. He's in the gear four, so he gets four defense dice. Uh-huh. So, oh, okay. That's six hits. Yeah, there's two crits in there, so that's six hits. Let's see if he survives. And he gets no defense. So he got six hits. He only had four left. So he blows up. I figured you were going to activate so you could shoot me. Oh, you know, that probably would have been a smart thing to do. I guess I wasn't thinking. Okay, once his vehicle has lost all of its hill points, it is wrecked. So make a short, straight move. Okay. You can just move him. Okay. Too bad I don't hit you. Yeah. Okay, short straight. Make a short straight move. Remove all hazard tokens. Okay. Reduce to gear one. Become a wreck. Check for explosions. Okay, so this guy has lots of ammo because he has mines and grenades. Oh, so you could damage me. So I could blow you up, yeah. You could, yeah. Because there's no defense from that. Or is there, is there defense from that? No, you don't get to any defense dice from an explosion roll. Ooh, this could be bad. So, um, because he's got grenades and mines, that's mm -hmm. uh, six ammunition. Mm -hmm. So he rolls a d6, add the number of ammo tokens, six. And if the results are six or more, it immediately explodes. So he's going to explode. He's going to go boom because he's loaded with explosives. Okay. So, yeah. He's a middleweight, so it's a four die six attack. What's the range? Medium. Okay. In the exploding vehicle. In all directions. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's got the blast rule, so that means every um, damage that you take is going to be a hazard. I'm just going to be dead. <laughs> no, I mean, how many hit points do you have? How many hole points? I have eight. And you have to roll what? Over four. Okay. Or four, five, or six. Okay. So one. You got one. You got to take one damage. Uh, and one, and two hazards? Or one, one hazard? hazard? One hazard. One hazard. That wasn't as bad as I thought Two it was going to be. Two damage and one hazard because this thing exploded. Okay, that wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so you killed my performance And zombies car. come. Five zombies oh, come yeah. from your car. That's exactly right. So, um, <laughs> that's a special rule for zombie bash. So, actually... He has less than five, so they both just, go up. Yeah. yeah. So one is the driver and one was um, somebody who was stuck to the front of the car. So that's a special rule for zombie bash. When you crash and explode, you take zombies out of the pool for that car and put them around the wreck. Okay, so what happened there is you shot him. I did. He died. He exploded. And because he had mines and grenades. Um, I took a damage. You took a damage and one hazard and two zombies came out of the wreck. So now I am in gear three and I have three hazards and three hull damage. Okay, we're still in gear two and my performance vehicle is blown up. So I guess it's blue streak. Okay, I'm going to do the medium straight. And since that, um, since he's in gear four, he gets a free shift. And I'm going to take out one zombie in the process. Even if I get a slide or anything, because he is right there. So my free shift, and then three, although I may n hit that barrel. That You're going to hit that barrel, yeah. That's unfortunate. Slide, slide, spin, shift, shift, huh? Um, I don't want the slide because that'll turn me sideways. But I may want the spin just to... Change the trajectory, I think I do, and I will use, so then I will use the shift to take out a hazard, and I will use the spin and take a hazard, so it's kind of a wash on hazards okay. there. So I do get a zombie, but I do meet a barrel, so now we get to see if it's an exploding barrel or a regular barrel. Yeah, will your spin take you, will your spin avoid you from hitting the barrel? 
Sure, you can do that. That was close. Okay, so that worked. I don't like those barrels. They can that's, be really bad. That's the advantage of spin and slide, is sometimes you can squeak your way out of a bad situation. Yeah. Okay, so that is everybody in gear two. Yes. Move up to gear three, remove the tokens. And is everyone in gear three? Yes. So, um, you go first. I guess I go first. And we'll do uh, a turn. Oh. Should be okay. And what gear? You're in gear three? He's in gear three. So, that turn doesn't do anything. Slide, slide, and shift. All right, well, I can't slide, so I'm going to take well, a... Well, you could. It would be painful. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to take a hazard. I'm going to reroll these. And shift and slide. So we'll get rid of that. Okay. And then... Or are you going to shift? Well, up? now is not the time for caution, so maybe I'll shift up Okay. to gear four. All right. Oh, because otherwise you wouldn't have a turn on the next round. Go big or go home. Gotcha. And we seem to be avoiding our zombies. We just keep rolling right around them. Okay, so then gear four. Gear four. So. I guess that's me. That's you. And my bug can't go, so he gets a token. Okay, so for turn four, it smells like victory. It doesn't smell like victory so much anymore, but uh, we will proceed. We're now in gear four. We're going to do a gentle turn. Well, that looks good. And he is and in gear four. Nothing bad happens. Nothing good happens. Yeah, nothing bad. Nothing good. Which is okay. That's I'm not a roll. Slide, slide, spin. Ooh. I'm thinking that's going to be a hazard. Because <laughs> we'll, that uh, would hurt we'll a take lot. Take a hazard, and we will. No, we're going to roll everything. See what happens. Shift. Okay, get rid of that. And then I'm going to use that shift to remove one hazard. And take our gentle turn. So the only other one in gear four is blue streak. I think I might go for the gentle turn. That one's not bad and not good. Doesn't give me any bonuses, but I think it... You'll clip that zombie. I'll clip the zombie, so that's something. He's in gear four with one hazard so far. Hazard chip shift. I think I will get rid of those. So you got rid of those and you get rid of the other shift to lose a hazard and, and you I pick up take that zombie. one zombie. So he's got three zombies now. Okay. And that brings us to taking off tokens. Yep. And I get pole position. Okay, pole position, go back to gear one. Let's do the bug. And he's got three hazards, which could be dangerous. I'm thinking I might do a hard turn. That means I take a hazard, because he's in gear three. But it'll get me closer to these zombies, which I am oh, that looks good. very hungry for. So, But I might run into myself, too. <laughs> that could be a problem. So I'll have to do some fancy maneuvering over on the other side. Um, so I am now at four hazards, so hopefully I'll get a bunch of shifts. So I got two shifts and a slide. Slide might not be bad, actually. So I will take off two hazards, and then take a hazard for the slide. Okay. So that'll put me at three hazards. But I don't get my zombie. That's That was a silly move. But we made our decision. Yeah, I don't understand why you did that at all. Have you been sniffing too many rocket fumes? I guess. I think I was afraid I was going to hit my guy. And so I... Now you can hit that statue. Now I can hit the statue. Okay, it smells like victory. All right, we're going to try a swerve. And what gear are you in? Four? Four, so, you so take a, a hazard. hazard. That puts me at three hazards. I'm in fourth gear. I have four zombies. 
under my tires. Spin shift hazard. So, yeah, I'll get rid of the hazard. And keep your spin. I'll keep the spin that does put me at four hazards. So you get your zombie. So I get the zombie. Oh, that's and I'm that's just going to straighten out ever so slightly. Nice. And line up the next shot. Okay, so in first gear that just leaves a blue streak. So I think we're going to try a swerve because we don't want to be lined up with that um, barrel, but we do want that zombie. So that way we can get our zombie. We do take a hazard for being in fourth gear. So where are you at? Your fourth gear, now you got one, one hazard. One hazard and three zombies. Three shifts. That's good. Oh, that's handy. That is handy. I like that. I'll take away one hazard. I think I may shift down just to have more options next turn. Take a hazard for that. So I'll eat my zombie. Eat grill, zombie. And then I will be lined oh, up that with the barrel. So that's the a one good with thing. The barrel. Okay, so that's the end of gear one. So I think everyone is in at least gear two. At least I'm in gear four, you're in gear three and three. Yep. So I'm going to do the bug. He's in gear three with three hazards and one zombie. He's really looking at that wall. I really don't want to hit it. So I'm going to try swerving and see if I can miss that wall. And if I'm really lucky, I think I can miss it. That's crazy. That was lucky. More like if I would have been any closer, I don't think yeah, I could Yeah, you just, you just missed it. Yeah. And since I'm in gear three, I don't take any hazards for using the swerve, which is handy. Well, that's a good use for a swerve. Look at that. It is. It is. Handling of three. Hazard. Three slides. Yeah. Three slides is not where I want to be. That. Uh, okay, so I re-roll that. Yeah. Uh, so I took my hazard, so I'm at four now. Shift, shift, and slide. We definitely don't want the slide, so we'll get rid of that. And we'll use the other shift to get rid of a hazard because we're getting a little too many. And then we're going to come up here. And since we're in range, okay, since I'm in range of it smells like victory, I'm going to use my final rocket to try to blow him off the track. Whoosh. However, right. he does hit, he is in gear four, so I think that gives him a lot more chance to uh, make right, up for any hits. he hasn't taken hits. any damage yet. Yeah. So it's 60 sixes. Right. And only one hit. One hit. Well, that should be easy for you to get out of. And he gets four of aids. Yeah. And he evaded. Oh, man. Wow. Okay. That's pretty good. We'll take that. He's, he wants vengeance for his dead performance car. Yeah. Well, down to just guns now. Little pistols. Well, okay, Smells Like Victory is in fourth gear. He has four hazards. He's going to do a medium straight. Capture a zombie. And get a free uh, shift. And get a free shift, which is always nice. Yeah, those are handy. Especially when you got as many hazards as you do. All right, let's get four hazards. You get one more, don't you? Shift, shift, shift. Oh, no, that's the regular car. Right. Slide might not be horrible, but... No, we're not going to take the slide. Okay. And we'll get rid of one hazard with that shift. You can get rid of two. Two hazards, thank you. Mm -hmm. So that's helpful. We're going to move. Pick up your zombie. Pick up the zombie. So he's a, he's a zombie killer. He's got uh, six zombies already. And check out the large template. So... So he is going to fire his flamethrower, which is 66. If he hits and it does any um, uncanceled damage, then you're on fire, which means you take one, one damage every activation until you have zero hazards and then the fire goes out. How many hazards do you have? Three. Three. Okay. So you have to get rid of some hazards if I do any damage. Well, with 66s, do I get to uh, evade? Yeah. Ouch. Okay. So that's two. And the four, five, so that's five. So I'll get damaged no matter what, unless I, yeah, I'll get damaged no matter what. Okay, I get so five damage. Five whole points. 
Uh, I think I might be dead. Are you dead? Uh, no, I have two left. And you're on fire. So I will take a hell point of damage every time. Every, every activation time. until you get down to zero. Now that was one crew. I have two more crew because I bought an extra crewman. We're just going to shoot at you. Okay. That's a hit. Okay. You can try to avoid it. And yes. you did. Okay. That's not a hit. Okay. Okay. And then he is down to two shots with his flamethrower. Okay. And so blue streak. I'm going to use the veer again. Uh, he is in gear three, so he doesn't get hurt. But I think he'll get two zombies. Yeah, okay. Oh, I think I'll take a hazard. <laughs> Reroll. And hope for better. Hope for better fortune. Yes. So you got rid of your hazard with one shift, and now you're going to use another shift for something. Yes, I think I will use the shift to up to four and take a hazard. Because as you said, it is not the time for a... Uh... Cooper, now is not the time for caution. Yeah. Oh, I think I got the other zombie too. Okay. That was a good zombie haul. And that is the end of two. Okay. So we shift up to gear three. Um, you have pole position. Okay, so Rocket Bug is out of rockets, right? Rocket Bug is out of rockets. But I am on fire. What happens if I run into someone and I'm on fire? You do collision test. Well, we're going to try a medium because I get a free shift so I can get rid of one of my hazards, hopefully. See what happens. We're going to sideswipe you. So I stop right next to you, right? Right, at the point of contact. So basically right next but to you. But you got to roll your dice first. And yeah. such. So I'll get rid of that, and I'll get rid of two hazards, and I'll take a hull point, because I'm going to be dead next turn anyway, so I may as well ram you. Okay, so that's a side swipe, so that's your current gear, that's your attack dice. Okay. I'm going to um, try to evade. Uh-huh, and you have four dice, right? I'm in gear four, so yeah. And I, you got to get a six, and I got to get a four, five, or six? I believe so. Okay. So three hits. Three hits. Okay, so I take three hits and we each take two hazards. Okay. I'm dead next turn anyway, so at least I gave you some hazards and some damage. All right. Because the fire will kill me next turn. Your turn. Let's see, I'm in gear four. Try a gentle turn. Shift, shift, shift. I'm going to get rid of three of my four hazards. So now I'm in gear four, one hazard, and six zombies. Are we within medium range? Would you say? Do the pipes count or not? Sure. So then I'm going to throw two Molotov cocktails okay. at you. Just or they'll just shoot at you. You can throw your mouth off costumes. Well, it doesn't matter. Five, that's a hit. Do you want to uh -huh. evade? Well, I may as well. And you yeah. did. Okay. And that missed. Okay, so you used up two of your Molotov? Oh. No, they just shot at you. Oh. Well, geez. I like the Molotov cocktails better. So you moved the bug, I moved the flamethrower, and now it's time for Blue Streak. He's going to do a gentle turn, which gives him no bonuses and no problems. Uh-oh. Okay. I see what's happening here. Get rid of that. And we will get rid of one hazard. And you're going to head on collision into... Yep. Okay. How much damage do you have on your car? Anything? No. None. Okay. Then I'm going to try to evade. So it's head on collision, so we add our gears together. So I'm in gear four. And I'm in gear four. Okay, so that's eight dice. So I evade with my... With um, your four? With my four. Okay. You attack with your eight. Okay. 
Okay, so that's two. Three. Three. Okay. And that only counts as one, so that's two. Or one. One, so two damage. I take two damage. And then we both take... Two hazards. Two hazards. So I'm at half strength. I'm at five whole points out of ten. I should have smashed back. You didn't, though. But I didn't. So that's the end of gear three. Now we are in gear four. Okay, so gear four, um, what are you going to activate? Blue streak. Okay. Can I so, ram him again? No. Uh, when you start your movement activation, if you're touching an obstacle, you ignore the obstacle and okay. move on. Okay. And they say that's a little weird in terms of physics, but it speeds up the gameplay. So we're going to do a gentle again. Here, let's put this in the middle of your car. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I don't get any bonuses and don't get any nastiness from that. Get rid of the hazard and I'll get rid of one hazard token. I'm going to move him. That runs into the wall, I think. Does it? I think next time he'll hit the wall. Okay. So Back facing, I have a minigun. So you got a rear-mounted minigun that yep. does uh, 46 attack. One, One hit. hit. I'm going to try to evade. I yep. did. So you drove through him and then shot him with a minigun. Tried to, anyway. I'm going to do a turn. And you're in gear four, so you take a hazard. So I take a hazard. All right, and I will roll my three dice. Gear four. Oh no, he gets three. Right. I keep thinking. Slide, slide, shift. Shift and spin. Okay, I can live with that. So we'll get rid of a hazard. Okay. And then get rid of another hazard. And then take a hazard. And then take a hazard for using that spin. A little straighten us out a little bit. Try to line up some juicy zombies. Nice. Okay, what's happening to Rocket Bug? The blow bug is going to blow up because he loses his last hull point of damage. All right. He's used up all his rockets, so he doesn't blow up. Or he, does, he has to roll a six to blow up. Yeah, short, straight forward. Okay, short, straight forward. Become a wreck. How many do I roll? Just one? Yeah, just one die. Nope, I don't yeah. blow up. Okay. So you're just a wreck. So he's a wreck. If a vehicle is wrecked, it must place five zombies from her collected zombies within the short range of the vehicle. When we did it before, we just did the zombies that the vehicle had collected. So. Right. Poor rocket bug. Poor Herbie the rocket bug. But at least he took out your performance car before he died. He did. He killed the performance car. And then he died a fiery death. Okay. okay. Going to back to gear one. Okay. Back to gear one. So it's just blue streak and it smells like victory. Okay. And I think smells like victory is going to line up some points. So he is currently in fourth, fourth gear, gear, I think. Mm -hmm. Fourth gear doesn't leave you a lot of options. It doesn't. So we're going to do the old medium straight. Because you want your free shift. Yeah. Shift, slide, we'll get rid of that. And I don't want to slide. We'll get rid of that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to end up in the wall no matter what I do. Yeah, what will happen is whatever you do, yeah. then when you hit the wall and you stop, okay. you do your collision, and the next turn you move on as though the wall doesn't exist. So you just okay. kind of curve out of it. Medium. Okay. Since no matter what I do, it's going to take me into the wall. So four shifts. Oh, that's great. So I'm going to get rid of all the hazards because I'm going to get a few <laughs> with the collision. Okay, so the wall gets, what, four dice? Yeah, it's a heavy weight. So what's your, um, what I'm is in, your shift? What is your good And my gear, gear is four. You're in fourth gear. Yep. So that's four dice. Yep. Plus two, because the wall is a heavy weight. So he gets six and I get four, right? If you're evading, yeah. 
Okay, go ahead and roll your six. Do I get to play the wall? You get to play the wall. So that's two, three, four, five. You really want to kill me, don't you? I am the wall. Yeah. You get so one. four. One, yeah, four. So how many points do you have? Four. Damage. Four, left, four damage. No, I have six left. Okay. Then you take two hazards. And I take two hazards. All right. Yeah, that's gear one. Okay, gear two. Okay, so smells like victory. It's gonna do medium straight. Medium straight. Roll some dice. So did that give me a shift? Yep. Yeah. Nice. Well, I might um, have to get rid of all of those. So, so it looks like you get two zombies in this bid. Ba -dum -ba -dum. So that's two more. So Blue Streak is going to do a gentle to get out of the wall. So I got two slides and a shift. I don't want to slide, so I'm going to take a hazard and re-roll those two. And I got a shift and a spin. Okay, so I'll get rid of the spin and get rid of one hazard. So that is the end of gear two. Do you want to make this turn the last turn? It's up to you. Yeah, we'll just play it out and then... Okay. So, gear three. Uh-huh. Okay, so smells like victory. Uh, what's he at? He's at four hazards. Mm -hmm. He's in gear four. Mm -hmm. Again, not a lot of things you could do. He could do a swerve, mm -hmm. but it, it takes a hazard. We'll just uh, do the straight medium. Does that clip the barrel? Mm, I think you might be safe. Get the free shift, which I need. Well, no matter what happens, you'll still get the zombie. Because even if you get a slide. Slide, slide, slide. Slide, slide, slide. Uh, huh. Well, you'd be at six hazards. <laughs> no, I'd be at f about five hazards. Oh, but I'd have to. Because you have to take two hazards if you have two slides. Right. So you we're going to take a hazard and re-roll. Slide, shift. Well, at least I can cancel those out. So that's nothing. Skirts the barrel, picks up the zombie. Okay, so blue streak. Is gonna try a veer, see if we can miss all our obstacles and get a zombie in the process. He takes a hazard for uh, using the veer. So it's three hazards, gear four. How many, how many hull points left? Six. Shift, shift, shift. Oh, good. So you could shift up, but it doesn't leave you many options. No, it really doesn't. So I'm going to uh, get rid of my three hazards. These are the zombies that came out of the rocket bug, right? Yeah. Is it possible that that zombie there is your friend? Could be. Could be the driver. Claim. Nikita, is that you? Bump. <laughs> points are points. Points are points. Okay, okay, so that is the end That's gear of three. three, so now gear four. Gear four, this will be the final gear. I suppose I should try to do something crazy and try to pick up a point. In gear four, there aren't a lot of options. No. Well, we'll just do the gentle turn. Do I get anything for that? Nope. No. Shift, shift, spin. Well. Get rid of those, get rid of one hazard, so... Not in five hazards, and down to four. So he's in fourth gear, four hazards, five hull points left, and he'll end his ra his zombie bash race, screaming around this way. Does that look right? Sure, he's pretty. Okay. There you go. 
So just out of curiosity, you know, a gentle turn would. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay, what's Blue Streak going to do? Medium straight. Gets a free shift. Shift, shift, and hazard. So I got two shifts. So I'm going to shift up to gear five just for the heck of it. <laughs> okay. Just for fun. Yeah. May as well. And uh, not worry about the other one because I can't shift up to gear six. Otherwise, I would just for okay. fun. So then you shift up to gear five. But first, I got to move. Okay. So gear five doesn't leave me a lot of options. All right. But we got to try. Gear, yeah, gear five doesn't leave me a lot of options. I've got swerve, I've got gentle, I've got scream and long, which would definitely take me into the wall. So we're going to go with gentle and see if um, we can get close to that zombie. I think it's going to end me in the wall is what I think it's going to do. Oh, I take a hazard for that, okay. for using the gentle. I did get a spin. Spin, spin. Shift. Can't shift up to six, so okay. we'll just get rid of one of the spins. Take a hazard for using the spin. I don't think we're my car is quite long enough to get that zombie, but it was a good shot. Alright. And that way I can spin off the wall. Okay. Alright. And is that the end? That is the last gear. If I could have okay. gone to six, I would have, because then I could have got my last zombie, but my car won't go that fast. All right, so that's where we are, and uh, could have kept going on, but this is a good place to stop, I think. You want to do your count? What's your count at? I have eight zombies. Nine. I have nine. Uh-huh. So... And we both killed know. off. So probably... Well, you want to play out one more turn just to see what happens? One more gear? Nope, you got it. You got your one extra you would have zombie. clipped that guy, probably. Yeah, I would have got that and guy. Then it's but unclear. you have a chance to get... Have a very, very good chance of hitting the wall there. Yeah. So. All right, well, that's a good game. You feel sad about the loss of Rocket Bug? I do, but at least he took out the performance car beforehand, so he fulfilled his purpose before his death. He did, yeah. He served the gods of Carnage, and then yeah. there's a good chance that uh, he was claimed as a point when you ran around the corner. Yes. Okay, folks, we hope you enjoyed our test drive of the zombie bash scenario for Gaslands. If you enjoy our content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Please give this video a big thumbs up and or visit us online at our website, skirmishwargames.com.